If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give a thumbs down. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hi folks, Dave with DBS Tech Talk. And today we are going to talk about how to connect a PC or a phone to your Gishelli Labs Enog 2 Pro. Now, this seems like it would be something very simple to do. You just get a USB cable out and connect it like you do all other DACs. But unfortunately, the Gishelli Labs Enog 2 Pro only has two inputs and neither one of them is USB. It has a SPDIF in and also optical in. And so you're kind of limited as far as um, what connections you can have. A lot of more modern um, PCs, laptops, and things like that, unless you're talking a big gaming one, um, they tend to only have USB out. And so you can't connect easily to an Enoch 2 Pro unless you have a USB interface or a converter of some sort. For example, here on my desk, I have a Gustard U12. This is a USB interface, and it takes the USB from my little PC here and then um, converts it out to various formats. It does AES out, um, coaxial, SPDIF out, fiber optic out, and a couple others. So I can connect it to all my different um, gear here on the desk. But in order for it to connect to the Gashelli, I have to either have fiber optic or coax. And so I have both connected today and I'm going to show you how to connect to your Gashelli Labs Enog 2 Pro using a converter. Now you could get a Behringer UCA202, which is the one that has been recommended pretty much since the conception of the Enog 2 Pro, but those have become extremely hard to find, very rare on the internet, and also extremely pricey. So today I'm gonna to show you three different alternate options, all that are $25 or less. Let's start with the first one here, and it comes in a very standard box. You're gonna get a little bubble wrap action and a USB. And so the USB, is a very simple cable. You have USB 2.0 and USB-A. Then you have your little converter. This one is made by SignStech, SignStech, not exactly sure how to pronounce that. And on the front you have RCA outs and a headphone out or 3.5 millimeter out, you have USB in, and then fiber optic out, and coaxial out. And it says it all right here on it, tells you exactly how it works. So what you do is you take your USB 2.0, and you're gonna plug her right in to your computer. You're gonna take the other end, the USB-A end, and you're gonna connect it Like so, a little red light is going to show where it's optical and on the front, you'll have a bright red. Then you're going to take your fiber optic cable or coaxial, either or. You're going to plug one end into your Enog and you're going to take the other and you're going to plug it into your out. This is using optical, obviously. Plugs in, boom. You get a light and then on your Enog you will just hit the selector button and pick which one it is. Your computer you may have to change so that your computer setting says the USB DAC. Very simple, very easy to connect and music plays very easily. The other nice thing about this is you have a headphone out and so if you have easy to drive headphones with 3.5 something like a a uh, little IEM or something, you can plug this, but you would have to control your, your music um, through the computer. But other than that, it works very well. Does it sound good? We will get to that in a moment. Let's unplug this one here. Set that to the side. The next one is same basic concept. You do get a little bit nicer of a cable. I'm not going to take this one off since it's still wrapped. 
and the difference is are very minimal they look almost identical and um, the only difference is this one kind of feels plasticky whereas the other one has a little bit more of a metal build and there's a like a dollar difference in price so anyways you're going to connect it the same way you're going to take your USB A and your USB you're going to plug it in you're going to get your red lights no red light on the back side on this one just red lights here and then you will take your fiber optic or coax connect it in and voila you will have music again you may have to select your USB input on your PC or laptop RCA outs headphone out just like the other one and then coax and optical outs and USB in only and it will convert it all for you again we will talk about the sound qualities in a moment so that's the next level up and then the last one we want to look at today is by a company called Ryan Ryan I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that um, comes in a little bit nicer of a box not a plain Jane box and in this one you get a nice little carrying case and then you get a different USB so this one is USB 2.0 3.0 to micro USB so we're going to have to unplug from there set that to the side take the little carrying case off and this one in my opinion nicer looking it's a little bit more pleasing to the eye it doesn't look just all basic so you have your micro USB in and then you have a headphone out there's a little itty bitty switch right here so it determines whether or not you're doing headphones or if you're going to do your uh, coaxial and optical out so let's get this connected so same thing you just plug right into your PC there and then you will take your little cable plug in you'll get a little blue light and it says I have inputs and then you take your fiber optic plug it in and voila you have sound and your Gashelli um, DAC will play to whatever amplifier you have it going to and then if you want to use it you just hit the little switch and you can go to 3.5 and use IEMs or easy to drive headphones just bear in mind you will have to control the volume with your PC or you can get a volume control uh, knob and use that as an out. This is the most expensive of the three but again it is uh, $25 or less on all three of them. How do they sound? Well keep in mind that they're all limited to 24 192 capabilities so you're not going to get the high-end music uh, that specs that you may get out of a going from a different connection straight from your PC but that is due to the SPDIF and coaxial and optical um, capabilities sorry for the clinking here as far as size Guess that one's bigger a little bit there we go and then that one is way smaller the Ryan is the smallest and in my opinion is the most pleasing to look at sound quality wise uh, I didn't really have any concerns as far as uh, the sounds that it produced it sounded like music uh, didn't really add any colorization to the sound and they were all very pleasing now the headphone outs is not the greatest I would not say that that is gonna compete versus you know a LCX or a CTH or a 789 or the 788 or even down here the Archel 1 or the Archel 2 or the JDS Labs Atom uh, it's just it's not gonna compete in in that way at all but overall it's enough to get you through as far as transferring from the PC sound over to one of the other DACs, uh, the SU-8 or the Gashelli or 
on the THX uh, 788, it sounds fine. Um, and they cover up any of the other flaws. So it's doable, it's cheap and easy, and it's a way to get your Gashelli Enog 2 Pro working and playing music. So if you were wondering how do I connect my Gashelli Labs Enog 2 Pro to my computer, all you have to do is get one of these very cheap USB interface converters and they connect. This has been Dave with DBS Tech Talk. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next video. Speaking of next videos, somewhere on the screen is going to be a notifications and subscription links. If you haven't already, please check those off. And then check the links down below for the products that were reviewed today and explained as to how to use. And then also for links to Patreon, PayPal, emails, and playlists for music from Deezer and Tidal. Thanks and have yourself a great day.